Welcome back. Diamonds might be a girl's best friend, but some say they're no friend to Mother Nature and definitely frenemies with your pocketbook. But there's a new kind of diamond, and it's real, but it's not really mine. Jay Gardina from Adamus One is here to explain. Thanks for being here. Oh, these are gorgeous and sparkly. By the way, we were just talking backstage. I have a diamond. This is my wedding ring I've had for 16 years. This diamond, it is, it is a real diamond, chemically, optically. However, it was not mined. So tell you me about You were a trendsetter. I was a trendsetter 16 back then. years ago, a lab-grown diamond was very few and far between. And for you to understand and unknowingly go, look, I want a lab-grown diamond, 16 years ago was really a trendsetter. Will you tell me about the process here? And by the way, let me just try one of these on. You will get it back, I promise. But I'd like to show That's off, your first of all, gift. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my best day at the Arizona Daily Mix. So tell us about this stone and how it's made. So that's a 10 and a half carat that we made in-house. Oh. In um, it's as, as well as it represents our El Jolie, which is our new jewelry line. Um, and then we make our lab-grown diamonds by a process called CVD, chemical vapor deposition. We actually patent that process as well. So we hold 28 domestic patents, eight international. And very simply, CVD just means turning a gas into a solid. So how the process works is we create a vacuum within our, our chamber. We put a bunch of diamond seeds, what we call diamond seeds, thin, thin slices of diamonds. In 30 days, we create a plasma, which is like a miniature sun. It's like three to 5,000 degrees centigrade. We infuse that with- You create a miniature com sun? Miniature sun. Oh my gosh, here's Gotta wear UVA, you actually wear sun luck as well. That's <laughs> so, right, don't get burnt when so your diamond is getting burned. Hand in hand with Arizona. So, and then we infuse with carbon-rich gas. That carbon-rich gas rains down out of the diamond seeds. The seeds give it the architectural understanding and know-how how to build a diamond. In 30 days, each one of those little diamonds turns into about a six-carat rough diamond. This is incredible. So, we're, just to be clear, we're not talking about a cubic zirconia or anything. No. This is a diamond. Physically, chemically, optically identical to a mine diamond. The only difference is one comes out of the earth, one comes out of a safe environment we call a lab. What are some problems with diamonds that come out of the earth? I mean, there's, it, we look, it's, it, there's a great industry that my diamond's been around for, you know, thousands and thousands of years. We look at an alternative to that, just like yourself. You're like, look, I want to be more environmentally, environmentally conscious or socially conscious as well, because we all have seen the movie Blood Diamonds, etc. Yeah, yeah. So we just offer a different alternative to people who are more conscientious about sustainable or sustainable mankind. And Jay, listen, I wanted to um, avoid a mine diamond for many of the reasons that you just said, because they're largely from conflict areas and, and perhaps more now with the situation in Ukraine. But also, I wanted to save a buck. Right. Let's be honest, because <laughs> a mine diamond does lose value the minute it leaves a jewelry store. So in terms of price point, how do these compare to mine diamonds? So when we talk about a retail setting. It's a little different from a wholesale structure. In a retail setting, they generally sell anywhere between 35 to 55 percent at a discount to mine diamonds. Meaning, when you go into the store, and everyone has a budget, right? You go into right. the store, you go, I have $5,000 to spend on my engagement ring for my fiance. So they go, okay, here's what your alternatives are. Here's what you can buy from a mine diamond for $5,000. Here's what you can buy from a lab grown diamond for $5,000. So it's either you're going for a bigger diamond or a better quality diamond. And that's uh -huh. really where the value pop proposition comes in is you can get a higher quality, the C's, right? Correct, Cut, the four C's. Clarity, everyone forgets the fourth one. Carrot, which Carrot. is your size <laughs> <laughs> and color. And by the way, I love this pink one we're seeing. You guys make pink as uh, well as the traditional clear or whatever you call it. So we specialize in white diamonds and pink. I, if we look at it, I think our pinks are probably the best pinks in the world, a true Argyle pink diamond. It's so gorgeous. If somebody's watching this and they're thinking about getting engaged or maybe they want to buy a gift for somebody in their life who might prefer a mine diamond for whatever reason, what's a good way to find you, get more information and see some of the jewelry that you make? So you can go to adamasone.com and that's A-D-A-M-A-S, one.com. And then we're launching, this is all from our new jewelry line, El Jolie. So eljolie.com and we'll launch that in early October. You'll see that coming out. Thank you so much. And now you'll have to pry this ring for my cold dead hand. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you. These are beautiful.